We could devote an entire night and scratch the surface of the achievement of the 2009 Foundation of AWRT Achievement Award recipient, but I will instead try my best to give you just a glimpse into this woman's unprecedented achievements. As chairman and CEO of the MTV Networks, Judy McGrath has overseen development of some of cable TV's most beloved programs and events, many of which have become pop culture landmarks that have indeed moved a nation. Her vision and business expertise helped build the MTV Networks into an international multi-platform success story whose achievements have set a strong example and raised the bar for women and men everywhere. A longtime member of the MTV family, Judy got her start at the channel writing on-air promos before working her way up the ranks. Under her direction, MTV grew from an irreverent cable channel to the influential global brand it is today. Judy oversees more than 150 channels and 350 websites, reaching more than 560 million households worldwide in 160 countries and 32 languages. And yes, I said that correctly. We're talking 560 million households. And as if that doesn't keep her busy enough, <laughs> Judy is committed to pro-social initiative both personally and professionally, including MTV's Choose or Lose, Nickelodeon's Big Green Help, and VH1's Save the Music. And she serves on the boards of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Ad Council, and Lifebeat. She, had, she has been honored by Women in Cable, GLAAD, and the Harlem Children's Zone, and was named Humanitarian of the Year by the T.J. Martell Foundation. Let's roll a clip. <laughs> you may know her as P. Judy. I know her as simply the queen. Also known as the heartbeat of MTV. She is described by those who work with her as a great leader and an all-round awesome woman. And I love her. I love this woman and her leadership has helped MTV Networks become the entertainment powerhouse it is today. MTV Networks is this great global experiment, one that really values diversity and inclusion. I think each of our brands is organized around something that's really important to the community they serve. It starts with music. Music brings meaning and memory to the great events of our lives. MTV and Nickelodeon colonized the short attention span introduce quick hits into the cultural mainstream. We invented music you can see and reality TV. Give us a screen, we'll entertain you. There isn't much more to be said, but this woman is just as beautiful as she seems. Please join me in welcoming the 2009 Achievement Award honoree, Judy McGrath. Thank you. It's really a wonderful honor. And um, thank you and congratulations to Kiki. Um, many of you know her from Nickelodeon's True Jackson VP, which snagged a Gracie of its own tonight. Um, and what I like best is the third word in the title of that show, VP. And because it's really great that we live in a time when a TV series can realistically portray a young woman as vice president of a top company. If you think about it, there was a time when women on television, whether they were moms, wives, nurses, secretaries, or executives, were mostly there to get the coffee. The only other option, flying none. So I've been at MTV Network since the early days, and while we have not done everything right, one thing I'm very proud of is, is that we've always been the place that welcomed people of every background, gender, nationality, and orientation. We had to be. We needed every good idea we could get. And when you open your creative world to all kinds of people, you end up getting all kinds of people in your audience. So I'm proud to say that at every level of our company, we have strong, talented, and very savvy women in every job from on-air talent like Kiki to wildly creative producers like Sophia Crenshaw and her boss, Tina Xaros, and Allison Williamson and the leader of Nickelodeon, Seema Zargami, and her chief exec, Marva Smalls, and two friends like Amy Poehler, or as we like to call her at Nickelodeon, the Mighty Bee. 
So you know change has really come when the next generation doesn't even know it's there. The AWRT has been doing this, advocating for women, long before it was fashionable, long before it was socially correct. So I'm thrilled to share a stage with all these so many cool women. And behalf of, on, on behalf of everyone at my company, thank you for fighting the good fight and for uh, doing all that you do to make sure the fair sex finally gets a fair shake. Thank you.